All right, howdy y'all. Let's go ahead and get into the 911 communication section of the CAD today. So, what we're gonna go through today is you're gonna, if you pass the application for dispatching, you're gonna go ahead and get accepted for our 911 communications. When you get accepted, you'll be able to access this tab here, 911 communications, you'll click on it. When you click on it, it'll say what server you'd like to join. Obviously, you're gonna click the CRP. CRP, we have one, we might have multiple down the road. Subdivision, well, dispatch doesn't have any subdivisions right now, so right now you're just gonna go ahead and say no subdivision. When you go to that, you're gonna click your identifier. Uh, usually you'll have a different one than your, if you're an officer, you're gonna have a different one than your dispatching one, obviously. Now 1012 is if you're gonna have an additional partner with you, you just gotta click on it if you were gonna do it, and then partner's identifier, put them on in there, stuff like that. So then you're gonna go ahead and continue. All right, it's gonna load up the CAD. So here is here is the biggest CAD we have for dispatching alone. Dispatching's a lot, so let me. I'm gonna go through each step and what they do. So we'll start on this side. So right here where it says patrol map, what it's gonna do is it's gonna have a full map of all the postal codes, all the gas stations, all the stations, everything inside this thing once it loads. There it is, and it'll show you everything you need to see. So postal codes, if someone says they're having a fire at uh, A51, there you go, you can see A51, the road it's on, Marina and Pandora, uh, Panorama Drive. Um, let's say you're following a high speed stage, like Josh, they're going down Joshua Road, about to hit East Joshua Road. You can pre predict where they're gonna go next. They can you go down Marina Drive or down uh, into Sandy Shores, little uh, dirt roads over here or down even Panorama Drive. You can predict, you can do those uh, estimates. There's station two, five, and there's the police station right then and there. Okay, so that is the live, that is the map. So then you have active tow. This is not active yet, but if you were to have tow, this is where they'll go ahead and line up for it. They'll be registered in and they'll have their own tow trucks. They'll go ahead and do it if they're gonna be accepted. The open notepad is pretty much where you can write everything. Uh, if you were, let's say, high speed chase, you can write everything here, like um, the type four door, four door, um, four door Ford uh, F-150, you could do that, F-150, just to like, you know, keep a note, keep a pad. Next, you have your call desk. Uh, this will bring up all the calls that you've done today, all the calls that you have done over the last few t uh, hours. It'll all show up here and show up in the cat. Next is your 10 codes. In here, we already have all the 10 codes in here. It goes from 10 0 to obviously 1144, which is a person deceased. But all the, ca all the ca 10 codes are here. Now, our fire signal codes are here, and our code zeros to code. Uh, signal 100s are all listed upon here. This is so that you can know what situations are which and stuff like that to go ahead and um, keep in track. Next one, we have a create a call. So if you were going to create a call uh, for a 911 caller that comes in, which uh, I'll show you how to do too, uh, it shows you everything all the way where to come from an officer, fire EMS, 911 caller, all the way to 10 codes and explain. You can pop which one you know which it is. Uh, then it'll go to location, postal code, primary officer who's in charge, a little bit of notepads, you know, four door white car there, call type, call description, and then right here it'll update the call info. Then you start the car off. Once you do that, you can add some units to it. So, like, you can attach fire, you can attach LEO, um, stuff like that. You can go ahead and code for it. Um, you can edit the call, at, update as you go, stuff like that. This is just for the calls, and then search for officer if you needed to, and then delete the call. It'll show up here in active calls, and then they got active bolos in session, which we'll get to bolos. Right here is the active uh, stopwatch. So here, uh, let's say they had a pit. Pits are every five minute timers. 15 is the next pit, so you do pits like that. Uh, signal 100 in effect is a um, telling everyone to sh basically be quiet in um, in radio traffic. So basically tells everyone, hey, stop talking. You know, kids in one show. 10-3 tells you that a dispatch is offline right now, so dispatch is not accessible at that time. You click that when you need to go take a break or stuff like that. Then you got create a bolo. Here you can create a bolo on any vehicle type in. Uh, any vehicle type in any different type. So like let's say a vehicle or a person you do let's say black car model uh, 9F It'll show you most of it. Person vehicle description. You can say four door 
uh, 4D, uh, Ford, uh, Ford, let's go with Ford F-150, F-150, so you put that in there, you get the reason for the bullet, uh, assisting, uh, let's say, uh, from police, FFP, and last scene, let's say Sandy, once you do that, you have that, it's already logged and timed, all right, and then as you do that, you basically, as it goes, as the day goes on, officer finds it, you can edit, update it where the new call was, stuff like that, or you can clear it after it's been found. So as of that, there's where all the active bolos would be. Now you have access to the active PD chat, which basically you can see everything the PD is sending. You can send things as well to talk with them and get in contact with them. Deleting calls, it'll allow you to bring up call numbers. They'll have a little ID call number. You can bring back up a call to look through for evidence. For plate database, uh, you can look up any plate. So we have made one, but I'll get into that in a minute. So I'm going to start with person database because 1027 and 1029s are a little bit different. So I'll explain it first. So let's say we were looking up a person that was on a traffic call, an officer calls in. Can I get a 1027, 1029 on a John Doe? Uh, usually common spelling, or they'll say it out with the phonotopic alphabet. Let them go ahead and uh, do that. So here you do, you go John Doe. Sometimes it'll pop right up, sometimes you'll have to type the whole thing out. Uh, some some like this would be, it'll explain everything. So first name, John Doe, last name, Do first name, John, last name, Doe. Date of birth is 407-1977. Obviously their address, uh, usually it'll have some letters behind it, but obviously there's 1032. And it'll tell you male, black hair, white, 180 pounds. You can look at their, the officer will be looking. This is what you'll state to them. First name, John, last name, Doe, date of birth, 407-1977. Uh, address 1032 male black hair white uh, race white 180 pounds approximately then you'll say he'll um, you'll say his license is valid uh, read out the license number read out the expiration date which is expired um, and then read out the date of birth male it all show up on this driver's license the same as it would up here then you read the NCIC warrants that are out so you put the NIC warrants firearm registry it'll tell you if they have a firearm uh, you can ask them what you can tell them to be advised they do have a firearm on them so you can do that um, you can also uh, show tickets that came up arrests that also came up all this can be shown you got to show each one of the officers if you say no tickets and no prior arrests, that's fine uh, you go ahead and sort those up all right so now after that you can do a t plate database so let's say mr. John Doe had a license plate of 69420 so you do 6940420 uh, go ahead and put that in and it'll bring up his vehicle that has that plate the plate in game will match the plate they have here so you got the Sultan uh, RS black it's a valid insurance and it's John Doe there's not much there but plate info to bring up some flags like stolen or something like that to bring up something it'll pop out 911 calls it'll obviously show you all the 911 active calls that are in uh, and then the active EMS will show you all the fire and EMS that show up here. So I'm going to show you how a 911 call works. Um, just give me one second. Uh, I'm going to show you how that works. But at the top it says active server. Basically if we had more than one server, we're going to obviously put it on the different servers. Active AOP is area of, uh, of uh, role play. Uh, our area of uh, you know play time. Uh, you're going to go ahead and change that. So right now Sandy Grapeseed Harmony is going to be our main area of... Uh, of uh, patrol so we're going to be watching for that so as a 911 call comes in as shown here what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click answer when that call comes in you're going to go ahead and say call it originated from 911 to caller the location's at 1032 excuse me yeah 32 you're going to put the postal was um you can pretty much put any postal it's uh if they don't have a postal you're fine or that is the postal, so you're gonna put 1032 as well. You're gonna put a primary officer. Uh, you'll get to that in a minute. You're gonna put your 10 code in. It's uh, next to the fire at the gas station. So you're gonna go ahead and put a fire in. Or someone was run over, someone was hurt, fire station issue. So you're gonna hold, uh, you're gonna find where it says it. Hold on. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, you're gonna do, where is it at? One second, one second. Uh, vehicle accident because someone got ran over it was next to the uh, file so what you're going to want to do you want to go grab this 
you're going to want a copy. You want to put it in call description so that you have it. And you want to take someone who's running over, put that in call description. And then you want to put it primary officer as in their ID code or as what they are. So let's say one Adam01 is me. I'm going to put one Adam01. Uh, you can put their full name, you can put that. And what you want to do is you want to start a call. Once that happens, you're going to activate a unit unit to this call if you don't ha if you can't activate any units at this time you try to get one from other calls and tell them to go ahead um, to head there so if I were to do this and I go ahead and leave it it's gonna show up right here so as as you can see there's no offices attached but as, as you can see now it, it'll it'll allow you to edit and delete the call as you go but the best part about this is it also shows up in our discord so I'm I'm gonna show you how it shows up in our discord uh, it will as as it shows it'll link up as what the call is stated okay guys this is how it's gonna show up so right here it's gonna show up in the 911 center so if you become an active uh, fire and EMS uh, you're going to see that it's going to show up right here and it's going to explain like here it says uh, active 911 uh, here's where the call came in so it says is called uh, electric beta who was the player called in 911 it was a 1032 it was uh, somehow it was run it was um, it was showed that he was run over obviously in the information it'll all pop up here if you're not in the cad it'll pop up in discord and obviously we're gonna have it to where it tags you guys um, to show that you know this this was um, this was the call that came in usually the active operator at the time will be allowed to see this at, at any given time uh, usually it'll it's gonna pop up all the time they can do it both in game and in the uh, thing they're linked up so that you'll be able to do that and it'll allow you to uh, show different um, things. And you can also text that player or get with contact with that player to get more information about the call. It's also linked up with the slash 911 in game. So if the game, uh, all you got, all the player has to do is do slash 911 in game, and it'll link up with the player and do the interaction through there. So it'll also pop up in here too as well. So it's very efficient, very useful. Two ways for 911 to be in bullet inside. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to finish up the cat here. So right now there's active, um, as you can see, there's a bottom part that says active police. These will show you all the police officers on duty right now. Uh, here you can click their status. So 10-8, uh, if they're 10-7 off duty anymore, uh, if they're 10-6, if they're on meal break, or if they're 10-10 in an active situation or they're off duty, you can do that. Uh, here, like here, I can attach me to that call. So if I'm attached, it's going to show here, and it's going to say 1097, which is in route, 1051, which uh, I crashed my vehicle, or 1015, which is a uh, vehicle uh, accident. So obviously you can set their status to that, 1097 in route, 1053, and then uh, 1015, show it at all. Then what you do is you go ahead and you can clear them from calls by clicking X, and then code forward the call, which basically means the call was over with, everything was all right, or delete the call which means all officers will go back. If you want to add a unit, you just add them here, what department, what subdivision, all that, all from right there. All right, so now the biggest thing about this process, uh, most people ask is the, the flow of process in between, um, <laughs> in between the process of how it works. So the biggest one is you have to fill out the dispatch application. Once you fill that in and get accepted, you have to apply for the CAD. Both of those have to be done. Once those two are done, then you will be you'll be tested and trialed on. Then you'll go through a dispatcher uh, quiz, test, and a little bit of a uh, video lessons. So you'll go through some videos explaining how 911 dispatching works, uh, how we expect it as CPR, uh, C, uh, CP or CPRP, um, and we're going to explain how that works. And then we're going to ask you to go on a few people with it and talk about how we. Uh, are gonna go through it and I'm at CRP uh, explain how that goes through and how that flow process works and then after a few trials and you do good uh, you'll take one more test to, if you're all good to go and once you're good to go we're gonna let you get with a few dispatchers and learn how to do the process once you get the flow of it then we're gonna go ahead and let you do it by yourself that's the flow of it 
So congratulations on becoming a dispatcher if you've gotten this far. And uh, if you're trying out for it, hopefully you'll understand what our CAD looks like and hopefully you'll get a new understanding of it so that maybe, you know, it won't be as hard to learn it. This video is the goal was to teach you our little bit steps and techniques of how each part of this cat is supposed to work. So hopefully that showed that and how you're going to log in, how you're going to go from all the way from patrol maps across the board to explain it and how to do calls. Now in the next video, I'm going to explain how to do uh, dispatch calls inside of discord and how you're going to link them up and use the cat at the same time and explain, Hey, this is how you use our CAD, this is how you do in Discord, and how you're going to do 911 calls in between, and probably, possibly run through some scenarios. So congratulations on getting into the, dis the dispatch department, and hopefully you'll pass your test uh, and make it into our uh, full department.